But today, Dennis and his fellow coaster cats have a problem. Well, we have a uh, we have a pothole. That's actually a dip in the track that you can mm -hmm. feel. Yeah, you can actually feel it when you ride it. So when you pop over there, you get this extra little extra little bump, and we just want to eliminate that. This piece of track has started to bow under the weight of the coaster, creating a bump or pothole. Like any pothole, every coaster that goes over it makes it worse. It needs to be fixed before it becomes a big problem. Can I feel it if I ride the ride? Yeah, sure can. All right. Yeah, so you want to ride it? Of course, man. Oh, I figured that. Dennis and I can't go it alone. Roller coasters like the Voyage are gravity powered. We have to make sure we have enough weight to propel the car all the way around the track. So we'll need some volunteers for the extra weight. 960 doll units. Uh, I need as many riders as we can get down here to Voyage. We're going to ride it in about 15 minutes. How do you like to get that call at your office? Hey, stop what you're doing and head out to the roller coaster. Cell phone, keys. Cell phone, yeah. Does stuff go flying out of your pocket? Usually. Really? Usually. Here we go. But remember, this is no joy ride. This ride is for inspection purposes only. The pothole in the tracks you're talking about, that's right up over the top. Right over the uh, as soon as we start down, yeah. the train releases it's about the same point. Okay, follow that we start to feel okay. it here. Dennis shows me right where the trouble spot is. Pothole or not, that is one awesome ride. I mean, inspection. Well, that was just, uh, that was work for you, right? That was work for me. Yeah. That's amazing. Another day at the office. Now that we've felt the bump, it's time to fix it. Next stop, the very top of the track. How do we get up there? Straight up the middle on that rope right there. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> It only takes a few seconds to ride down the first big drop. Getting up is a whole different story. I imagine it's pretty easy for you to keep in shape. <laughs> I get a lot of good chances to exercise. Fixing the pothole in this wooden coaster is a real life thrill. We've got heavy duty rope, but no seat belts and no safety net. Oh, this is the office. This is where the pothole is, right here. And I'm, my hand is right on the bottom side of it, right here. Right. We've got to reinforce this piece of sagging track. We'll put in two metal braces that will support a heavy wooden beam across the middle. That beam will press up against the track, taking the bend out of it, keeping the voyage running safely for years to come. So it's out here in this open span, right? This piece of space that you need the extra support. Sounds easy, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It sounds easy when you say it. It gets a little harder when you start to do it. <laughs> on the ground, this would be a relatively simple job. But we're not on the ground. This steel leg will carry the force that the coaster train is generating vertically down into the superstructure. Okay. It's going to help hold up the bending section of the track. OK, I got it. You got it? Yep. OK, come on, clamp it. You got the bottom? I don't know for how long I've got it. OK, good to know, good to know. I'm pitching in with Dennis and his fellow coaster cats as they put in two of these steel beams. How your arm doing? That's, that's better now. <laughs> you need a workout? Yeah, I'm getting a workout. Yeah, I'll bet. Here we go. The second beam is in place, but that's only the first phase of this fix. Two pieces of steel, not bad for a day. Not too bad. We're running out of daylight. Yeah, we are burning daylight. I'd say we probably have just enough left to get ourselves safely to the deck. I'd say that's it. The Coaster Cats and I are headed back to safety, but we've still got to come back and finish the job. <laughs> 